Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to discuss this 20 pound adjustable weight vest from CAP, C-A-P. We've been talking about body weight training and body weight programs. People wanna know how do you get more out of body weight training in an economical way. We went to the local Wally World and we found this vest for, I believe it was $50. $49.99 CAP 20 pound adjustable weight vest. We're gonna pull it out of the box. We're gonna put weights in it. We're gonna see if this is a useful product or not for the money. There are many expensive weight vests on the market. Let's see what we can get for people on a budget. On top, we have the weight vest itself. The weight vest, this actually looks like it's gonna be really good. Over top, it will have a cummerbund which adjusts around our body and it will have pockets that we can fill with weights on the inside. Next item is the weights themselves. Let's use our Black Scout Survival knife to open it up. One piece of tape, liner lock, put it away with one hand. Inside there look to be 20 small sand filled weights made out of some type of thin cordura stitched over at the top and there are 20 of them shoved into that box let's lift up on the capture slide the weight into the vest and pull the top back up over well they are tight most people, when they use a weight vest, we're not gonna just jump it up to its highest weight. The whole point of something like this is that you can adjust in one pound increments. I have several body weight programs that I wrote which are designed to help people learn to get up off of the ground. Getting up off of the ground is a basic human skill. We want everybody who's doing the program to run each of the four timing protocols a minimum of six times. That way they understand how to breathe, they understand how to move, and how to record their data. Recording data is always key to getting the most out of any program. Then people could rerun the program and they could do each level with a one pound weight vest and then do it with a two pound weight vest and do a three pound weight vest. So four timing formats, one pound, four workouts, two pounds, and other four workouts. To get up to a 20 pound vest, it would be 20 per workout and you could do it with all four formats 20 times four would be another 80 workouts. Does everybody need to do that? No, some people probably don't need to start with the one pound jump. Some people could probably start with five pounds and then walk it up from there. They could go five pounds, seven pounds, and walk it up to get a smaller number. But the goal of all of these programs is to repeat things long enough that you internalize it and it changes the way your brain functions forever. That is the way that professional athletes train. They focus on repeating basic training things for years, eight, 12, 15 years. That's how they become a master of any one idea. So let's see if we can use this CAP weight vest to help us master our body weight programs. We have 12 pounds in the vest and eight pounds outside of the vest. I wanna test the vest with it not full. A lot of weight vests will work very well with all the weights in and not work well with a small number of the weights in. They will shift around too much. So I think this is probably a good general testing idea. Cumberbun goes in the back, tag in the back, over the head, out of the way of the mic. Pull your shirt down. It's nice and high up on the rib cage. Overall general design is okay. So one goes under and the other goes over, and it's up on your rib cage where it should be. We don't want our weight vest down on our belly the same way if you were to use metal plates like CrossFit plates, you wouldn't want them down low. You would want the weights up high, close to your sternal notch. That makes them the most stable. Let's start the test by getting down to our half kneeling position. Lead leg 90 degrees, rear leg 90 degrees, classic static lunge, stand all the way up, lock out at the top. Weight vest works great for this one. Almost every weight vest works great for basic stepping movements, like an alternating step back lunge, because you're not inverting or twisting. Let's get down to the ground and work a hip drop. 
get our hip all the way down to the ground. This is one of the most important body weight movements. So if the vest sticks close to our rib cage here, we call it pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. Let's do a full sit through where we extend our leg out. Good. So because it's up higher on our rib cage and there's a little bit of flex to it, as we breathe, our rib cage can expand and contract. You're definitely gonna wanna wear a shirt with it, a shirt with a collar like a polo shirt or a tennis shirt would be even better because it would keep the edge of the vest from rubbing on your neck. Let's move this exercise towards a down dog position. We'll do a bear squat, down dog bending the knees. We'll do a diving dolphin, downward dog bending the arms, and then we'll do a pass through push up. Starting from our kneeling position, hands all the way out, child's position that always tells us if our hands and feet are in the correct position for diving dolphins. Roll your toes underneath, invert. Vest feels pretty good. Bear squat, bend the knees, drive the heels down, bend the knees, drive the heels down, bend the knees, drive the heels down. Normally, if you're gonna shake a vest loose, you'll shake it loose with that. Diving dolphin, elbows, touch, drive, touch, drive, touch, drive, touch, drive. <clears throat> Child's pose sets our distance. Arms are free to move. Roll toes up underneath. Elbow touch, dive down, press up, go back. Dive, push, up, back. Ah, this vest feels pretty good. Good, the vest is performing very well for a fairly inexpensive piece of gear. This really feels like a copy of an ironwear vest. Ironwear is a much more expensive company. So this feels like an adequate vest for body weight training, so you can get more out of the programs you already have. It doesn't have to be my programs, could be anybody's programs. The thing that feels like it would go first would be the Velcro. I wouldn't roll around straight in the dirt with this and get a bunch of dirt inside this Velcro. That would probably kill this Velcro pretty quickly. But if you're training in a generally clean environment, in a room, in a garage, someplace where you're not directly in the dirt. I think that this vest would be a good option for training. I don't know what this D-ring is for, but fits me and I am six foot two and 240 pounds. Uh, there's enough Velcro there that if you were smaller, you could get even further across and tighten it up. Don't make it too tight or you will burn out a vest pretty quickly without leaving it room to expand and contract when you breathe. So this 20 pound adjustable weight vest from CAP that we got at Wally World seems like a good option for people to extend their body weight programs. When you start a body weight program, you're working on learning the skills. Over time, it does help to make the program heavier so that you're going beyond what you really need. That makes unloaded training seem easier to your brain. You will end up moving a little bit faster and you will have prepared your joints for more load. Doesn't matter what program you're doing, adding a weight vest to your training is a generally good idea.